a short lesson on the importance of Bodhi plots and why we ask for them when troubleshooting. In AKD Workbench, you can access the Bodhi tool under the Performance Servo Tuner. Okay, so let's assume you have a properly configured motor and you're certain you're commutating correctly. Let's run through a sample Bodhi setup and plot. First, we'll take a look at using the basic settings, the auto setting, to see if we can get a good plot. I'm setting this to record the plant, which is the mechanics. In this case, a motor, two pulleys, a belt, and an inertial wheel. Once we're happy with the settings, make sure the machine is safe and we can begin the excitation to obtain the plot. First, the tuner measures the friction levels in both directions. Then it simulates the system with PRB noise and completes the analysis. PRB is pseudo-random binary. Okay, looks like a good plot. Now let's see what this plot tells us about the mechanics and performance expectations. There are a number of things we can determine simply by looking at the plant plot. Looking at the first point where the phase passes through 180 degrees tells us the absolute best bandwidth we could ever achieve with the mechanics. Usually this looks like a relatively high number, over 700 hertz in this case. We can also look at the various resonant points. Looks like we have three decouplings in the system, likely the first pulley, the belt, the second pulley. Now let's bring in the open loop plot, which will give us a better idea what type of bandwidth we can expect. Also, we can look at the phase and gain margins. While looking at the open loop gain and phase plots, we determine what the phase is at 0 dB. At this point, subtract and find the difference from that point to a negative 180 degrees. And this is the phase margin of the system. In our case here, it's about 80 degrees. Gain margin is defined as the distance away from 0 dB when the phase of the open loop is 180 degrees. Looks like in this case, it's 10 dB gain margin. In this instance, you can see there is sufficient phase and gain margin which also leads me to believe with some advanced filtering techniques we could get a decent response from this setup. I've run an auto-tune on the system and we can take a look at the step performance in service mode. So I'm quickly setting up a step command that's reversing from 60 RPM to minus 60 RPM and then we'll run the scope to see what the response looks like. Yeah, there's some overshoot but a decently tuned system. By understanding the resonances, anti-resonances, and inertia of the system, you can calculate the stiffness you can achieve from the system as well. But we'll leave that for a more advanced module.